A supersonic aircraft is an aircraft capable of flying at speeds exceeding the speed of sound. The speed of sound, also called Mach 1, is approximately 343 meters per second or 1,235 kilometers per hour or 767 miles per hour at sea level at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Along with the speed of sound, supersonic aircraft can reach speeds of Mach 2, twice the speed of sound, or higher. The main advantage of supersonic aircraft is their ability to cover distances much faster than conventional subsonic aircraft. Supersonic aircraft usually have special aerodynamic designs to overcome supersonic phenomena, such as the thunderous sonic boom effect that can occur when aircraft exceeds the speed of sound. And here is the strangest new supersonic of the United States and the world. The X-59, developed alongside NASA, is designed as an experimental jet that NASA will use to test just how big a boom people on the ground are willing to accept from a supersonic aircraft. The Lockheed Martin X-59 is perhaps the strangest aircraft ever designed. Its shark nose reaches half the length of the plane, no visible cockpit, the wings are small compared to the rest of the fuselage, and its oversized tail engine looks like a strange hump about to fall off. The 99.7-foot-long, 29.5-foot-wide aircraft is powered by a single jet engine, built by General Electric Aviation, a subsidiary of General Electric. The aircraft was designed to reach speeds of Mach 1.4, or 925 miles per hour, flying at an altitude of 55,000 feet, 16,764 meters. The design is the secret sauce that has produced a true unicorn, a supersonic jet that doesn't boom the hell out of people and buildings on the ground. Sonic booms are a phenomenon that has long been a drawback of supersonic flight. When an airplane travels faster than the speed of sound, compressed air molecules attached to the fuselage produce shock waves that combine to form a sonic boom, a loud and disturbing sound that is heard on the ground. This noise has historically been a significant obstacle to the commercial viability of supersonic flight over land. The X-59 supersonic jet is expected to produce only a soft thud, equivalent to the sound of a nearby car door slamming against people on the ground. By comparison, previous generations of supersonic aircraft have been known to vibrate windows when flying faster than the speed of sound. In the decades after Congress passed legislation banning supersonic ground-based flights, NASA undertook missions to suppress supersonic explosions, but recently silent supersonic jets have become possible. Richardson says this is thanks to high-speed computing and machine learning models that can accurately predict the interaction of sonic shocks and how they propagate to the ground from a height of 50,000 feet. With this new technology, NASA sensed an opportunity to lift the federal supersonic ban. They launched a program called Quest, Quiet Supersonic Technology, to design and build an X-59 research aircraft that reduced explosive sonic booms to soft thuds. To convince Congress to bring supersonic flight back into the mainstream, NASA knew it had to turn its low-boom research into a real experiment that would show that an airplane could beat the speed of sound without breaking windows, to the annoyance of millions of urban residents, and causes heart attacks in livestock. The goal is to create a plane with a burst of just 75 PLB, a unit of volume that measures how people perceive sound compared to the actual decibels produced by a sonic boom. In 2018, NASA awarded Lockheed Martin a $247.5 million contract to design build and deliver a low-boom X-plane. The aircraft received its official nickname, the X-59 Quest, from the U.S. Air Force in June 2018, but the company still has a long way to go to develop a truly silent supersonic jet. The move from the construction site to the flight line was one of many milestones that prepared the X-59 for its first and subsequent flights. Next, the team will conduct significant ground testing including engine operation and taxi tests, to ensure the aircraft is safe to fly. The plane's first flight is scheduled for this year after a series of ground tests. The X-59 aircraft, the centerpiece of NASA's Quest mission, was designed to demonstrate the capability to fly supersonic or faster than Mach 1, while reducing loud sonic booms to quiet sonic booms. NASA will then fly the X-59 over several communities to gather data on human responses to the sound generated during supersonic flight. NASA will deliver that data set to U.S. and international regulators to possibly enable commercial supersonic flight over land.